Time for a shitty review of Rivals of Ixalan, the second set in the Commander Masters block. Let's first take a look at the poster childs, poster children, of the set. The cycle of dinosaurs with their mouths open. We've got a big ass pterodactyl, plesiosaur, spinosaur, T-Rex, and some kind of porcupine hedgehog thing. Spooky. Each elder dino is in their own way awesome and unplayably janky. Zetalpa Primal Dawn. Look at all those keywords. Look at all those mana costs. <laughs> Way too slow, you're never casting this without some hardcore ramping, and even then, you'll just die the next turn to the asshole playing Ramen Up Red, cause oops, looks like there's no lifeling in that soup. Tetsumak, 6 mana, also too slow. Itali, 6 mana, too slow. Galta, 12 fucking mana, yeah it's a bit slow. Uh, but wait, Galta has a cost reduction, so it doesn't really cost 12. But I'll also be hearing your cries at FNM when your board gets wiped and you have a 12 mana card dead in your hand. Finally, there's Nezahal, Primal Tide. Actually, this was not half bad, at least in the control mirror as I- <laughs> So that's all the elder dinosaurs. Surprise, motherfucker. Ha, mama, I take everything back about the elder dinos. This shit is crazy. Sure, it's almost unplayable in 9 mana, but it's a goddamn three-headed dinosaur. And it's basically free. I am fully prepared to lose all of my games trying to cast this monster. But let's not forget about the other tribes returning from Ixalan, like Sphinxes. Wait, no, it's just the one Sphinx, and it's Azor the founder of the Azorius Guild, from Ravnica, and he's on Ixalan. No, nobody else thinks this is weird, oh, just, just me, oh, okay. Murpho got a serious bump this set, with some new ways to draw a ton of cards, and a lord that costs two fucking mana, holy shit. This definitely moves standard fish up from garbage to maybe playable. Vampires also get themselves a two mana lord, as well as a four mana one one. Why? Not to be left behind, pirates got themselves a 2 mana lord as well, ah crap that's a lot of mana, Never mind. I'm honestly not sure what pirates are trying to do this set. This one tries to steal your opponent's spells, this one tries to travel through time, and this one tries to pretend it isn't the worst one in this cycle. Hold on, is that a 1 mana 2-2? Yep, all aboard the aggro train. But the real winners of this set are none other than the motherfucking chupacabras. Damn it feels good to be a gangster. Destroy any creature an opponent controls? It's like a not racist necrotal. And guess what? It might even be constructed playable. Wow. New set, new mechanic. A seven. Gives you the city's blessing for the rest of the game as long as you control 10 permanents. Quick mess. The problem with A seven. <coughs> Sorry. The problem with the Sen is that it's pretty rare to get the 10 permanents until you're in the way late game, and by then, does it really matter? No, it doesn't really matter. To me. How about some reprints? We got some classic reprints in this set, like Legion Conquistador, last seen in Ixalan. Well, I guess it makes sense to reprint this for limited. Oh, but there's Colossal Dreadma from Ixalan. Oh, okay. Ah, Raptor Companion from Ixalan. Ah, ha ha! Sailor of Means from Ix- Fuck! Ah, got it. Managed to find a reprint from a while ago. It's Aggressive Urge, last seen in 10th edition, and... Hmm. Ah, hmm. Oh, 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 my. Oh. Alright. Okay, okay, what else is in the set? Uh... Planeswalkers! Right, Planeswalkers! They suck. Well, Rivals of Ixalan is no mirrored in, but its nifty setting and sick artwork kinda makes up for its lack in power. But I do think there are enough new and interesting cards in this set that there's a chance for a real shakeup in the standard meta. Or maybe they'll just ban some cards again. <laughs> oh.